Hello YouTube and welcome to my first quick video about the cooling modification that I made for the TP cast unit. Uh, for those who have no idea what I am talking about, then this is an accessory for the virtual reality headset that allows <coughs> one to be not tethered to the computer while wearing the headset. Anyway, here is what I did. First, the parts uh, used were this radial blowing fan and a little heatsink that was six millimeters height. Uh, as it happened, the fan was a dead fit to the bottom side of the unit as you can see here, uh, meaning its width was like 0 0.1 millimeter match to the body. Since I wanted to keep it mostly intact, uh, then I started to make holes in the bottom for airflow between the stronger structural lines in the case mold. Uh, also I added hole for the wire since it was exiting kind of randomly from the bottom and I wanted it to make more flush with the body. Here you can see me test fitting and checking how the wire runs. And next up uh, the heat sinks. <coughs> Before ordering I measured the distance from the case to the electronic board to be around 5 millimeters but I didn't uh, take into account that the chip I'm putting it on also has heat so I ended up having to shave off pretty much half of the heat sink from the one side. You can do it either by filing or sanding <coughs> or spinning an electrical industrial kind of sanding at your own risk. This is actually an angle grinder. Uh, I use a two for more thermal mass. I mean two heat sinks. One on top, one on bottom. So there would be <coughs> more material to sink the heat into and more surface area to blow it off from. Uh, here you can see them almost done. There was also some cleaning up to do later on. One to the underside and one to the top. The underside one has less room than the top one and needs to be shaved down to around 3 millimeters. Uh, the wire runs from the fan to the USB heater. I also added 10 ohm resistor to slow down the fan a bit mm, for less noise. We mainly need just some forced air movement for the effect, uh, for the cooling effect. And the top row here is negative and the bottom row is positive connections. Nothing too complicated there. Uh, I try to avoid running wires over the antenna bands for less possible interference. So it was time to put it together but then surprise, the top case, the top case part had a strengthening mm, ribbon running straight across the chip I was uh, adding the heatsink on. This was an extra millimeter so I just cleaned it off with a knife. And that is it. Now let me demonstrate the sound it makes. You can hear it 
on the table but hardly when it's on your waist belt. Since it's hard to convey sound levels over the video for comparison, if you put that on your belt and turn on the VR, the coil whine from the transmitter is louder than the fan sound. And if you have headphones on and there is any sound or music in the experience you are using the headset for, you will hear nothing from the fan. Uh, <coughs> so I've been using it for a few weeks now and it's running fine but I did check it out with my thermal camera and here is what I found. The most heat seems to be coming off the radio module under here, not from the chipset, at least now. I didn't check it before, sadly. Uh, if we go back to one of my beginning pictures, then you can see that it's a box covered by a metal shield and then on top of that there is some softer rubbery stuff. That rubbery stuff will annoy you when you are trying to take it apart. So I should check that rubbery stuff out. Maybe it's not the type that transmit heat well and should be replaced uh, by, let me show you what I mean, here is what I am thinking about. It's some thermal silicon pad that should transfer heat well. I uh, need to think about that a bit. Also the receiving unit gets really hot too. Maybe should take a look what's going on inside that thing too. <coughs> anyway, leave your thoughts, questions and comments down below. Hope this helps someone and thank you for your attention.